What's up guys? It's Talia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to finally, two days late, um, show you guys what my 2021 plans are. Um, there's not going to be a lot to them. They're not going to be overly involved. Um, really, it's just going to be about the whip go this year. And also, I'm still doing my 12 new starts. So, um, I've actually started one of them already. But, um, I will show you guys what I have started. But I'm not going to show you the actual stitching start that I've done. Um, and then I'll show you the rest of them. So, let me start off by showing you guys what's on my whip go board this year. Um, I'm trying to keep my goals fairly low. Uh, a lot of them are just, my goal is just to get a certain amount of hours on them, usually 40 hours. A few of them, I have a goal of finishing the others, uh, maybe like 100 stitches or 500 stitches or 1,000 stitches, something like that. So, like I said, I'm trying to keep my goals fairly low. Um, because with the new baby, stitching time may not be as abundant as it has been in previous years. So, um, just keep that in mind. So, if, if you see my goals seem kind of low, that's why. Um, and, um, so yeah. She has obviously, um, she has already called the numbers for January. And I will show you what those are and what those projects correspond to, what those numbers correspond to um, on my WIPCO board as I get to them. As far as goals go, as far as any kind of reward, um, I'm going to do what I was going to do last year. Um, I'm going to still do that. I'm going to do if I get a bingo. Let me, let me first start off by saying this. For every finish that I get, every finish that I do, whether it be on my whip good board or just another finish in general, um, say like an ornament or a small piece or whatever, I'm going to take that value, that monetary value that I would get in Stitch from Stash for that project and put it into my whip good board. I'm also going to be taking the projects on my whip go board that I have a goal of for a finish. I'm also going to be taking those finishes if I finish them and adding that to my whip go board as well, plus 10%. So whatever the monetary value is at the end of the year, um, if I built up any money um, in, for finishes in, at the end of the year, I will take to the stitching frame and I will go treat myself to something. That's all it is. Um, I will treat myself to something that I normally wouldn't buy. So, um, that's basically what my plan is for the WIPCO, is to take finish values, whether they're on the WIPCO board or not, um, finish values and um, put them into my reward for a, for a whip go. So, I bet you're wondering what all projects I have on my whip go. Um, so let's get into this. Roll my sleeves up and let's get into this. Take a drink first. Yes, I've already been out um, to Wendy's and got us something to eat for lunch. He was craving bacon, so I got him a baconator from Wendy's. Um, if you hear crying in the background, Abby is with her dad. He's watching her, but she is tired. And she she's tired, but she doesn't want to go to sleep. Just letting you guys know. Um, once you think I was abandoning, abandoning her or anything, um, she's with her dad. Um, so, let's start at the beginning, shall we? I have all my good projects 
here in my throat. Um, I'm going to show you these um, in alphabetical order, in al alphabetical numerical order. So for number one, is going to be a Steampunk Luna Moth by Fireside Originals. I have actually restarted this um, from what it was originally, but <laughs> I may end up restarting it again. I don't know if I'm crazy about it on this fabric or not. Um, but this is what it's on. This is a 32 count. Um, I won't say 32 count. Um, it's a 32 count. Um, Belfast linen um, in <laughs> God, this is not starting out good. Iris by Under the Sea Fabrics. So it's it, there's more like pinks and purples than you're seeing in this fabric. Um, pinks, purples, oranges, all that good stuff. And that's my start on it. That's really just the body. I have more to do, obviously. Um, I'm not going to um, stay on any of these projects for too long because you did just see all of them in my whip parade earlier last week. That was number one. Um, number two is going to be Fractor Flowers by Lottie Da. I'm stitching this on a 32 count even weave in Stormy Night. Stormy Night by Zweigart. And that's my um, progress on that right now. Oh god, I meant to tell you what my goals were. My goals on this one and Steampunk Lena Moss are going to be 40 hours each. to keep these in order as much as I can. Number three is going to be a walk fast sampler. Oops. Walk fast sampler by Lindy Stitches. And I'm stitching this on a 16 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. This is where that sits at right now. My goal on this one also is 40 hours. Next up, number four, we have um, War Doctor by Lolita Maid on Etsy. And I'm stitching this in color seven, 796 on um, 32 count of. Lugana and Khaleesi by Under the Sea Fabrics. That's what it's at right now. That's actually showing up pretty good, believe it or not. So, and just a FYI, if anybody's a Doctor Who fan, 796 would be the official DMC number for Tardis Blue. Number five 
Um, did I say what my goal was on that one? I think 40 hours is my goal on that one. Number five. Um, this is the pattern, so I'm not going to show it very long. It's the Chinese Phoenix by Joan Elliott. Um, I am getting this pattern out of the Bewitching Cross Stitch book. Which is why it's printed out paper. This is a... I believe it's a 32 count. Oh, yes, I, I believe it's a 32 count mystery of linen white that I had in my itty bitty baby stash years ago. So that's where that's at right now. Um, my goal on this one, um, because it's the color changes are fiddly and I often have a hard time getting motivated to stitch on this. My goal for this one is just 100 stitches. That's it. Which may not sound like a lot, but 100 stitches on a pattern like this can go a long way. Number six, which is the first of the three numbers that was called for January. And there were three numbers called because one of those numbers was the 13 space which is normally a free space, but I have a project in it. I'm not using it as a free space. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here of what this looks like because I don't have a cover photo. This is called Watery Tart by Crafter Dark on Etsy. Um, this is a 16 count fabric that I dyed myself, my progress on it. So, call for DMC. Um, and my goal on this one is to finish it because I've had it in my whip list for far too long. The second one, sorry, um, number seven, um, I'm going to have to insert a picture of because I don't have it with me because I'm getting it out of the 101 Best Love cross stitch from um 101 best love designs from cross stitch and country crafts it's a long title for a book and i hate saying the whole thing um but i'm getting it out of that book but you can also purchase it from the cooler designs website um it's called dutch sampler um this is my progress on it um i'm stitching this on a 16 count antique by fabrics by lj Um, sorry. My goal on this one is 40 hours as well. Just regular call for DMC. Number eight is Aphrodite Mermaid by Mirabilia. I'm stitching this on a 32 count um, fabric flare linen called Grace's Ocean. I'm going to show you the whole thing here. That's my progress on it. Bring it in a little bit closer. Um, my goal on this one is also 40 hours. Because this is another one like I love to look at it. I love the design, but I struggle with motivation to actually stitch on it. Number nine is called Why Is It by the Cricut Collection.
and I'm stitching this on a 32 count um, Lugana in Keone by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I have like the tiniest of starts and I have not picked it up since. That's my start on it. <laughs> Can you see it? That's my start on it. Two letters. Um, it's going to be hard for this color of this fabric to come through because it's the light from my window is probably blowing it out. It's a, it's hard to show, but it's like a lavendery purple color. Really pretty. This just was DMC. Um, my goal on that one is 40 hours. I don't know if I mentioned it. Number 10. If I can get it out without getting more than what I need out. Is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. This is on a 40 count bisque by Late Sly Linen. my progress on it so far um I think if I work hard enough my goal on this one is to finish it and I think that's doable if I if I work hard enough on it if I could finish this one this would be a pretty big finish for me because it's my first ever project that I ever started on a 40 count And I've loved it ever since. Um, number 11. Let me put this back in here because it fell out earlier. Number 11 is Faith, Hope, and Love by The Work Basket. This is on, I believe it's Bramble. 40 Count Bramble by Picture This Plus. That is my start on it. Bramble has a slightly pink tone to it, so just keep that in mind. Um, my goal on this one is it's kind of a two-parter. Um, it's 40 hours or um, to finish this diagonal right here. Everything is in this diagonal. So I think whichever comes first. If I finish the diagonal before 40 hours, then I'll stop. Um, but if I do 40 hours on it and I don't finish the diagonal, then I'll stop, maybe. Or if I'm close enough, I might just go ahead and finish the diagonal. So, like say, if I get the diagonal done after 30 hours, then I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. Uh, and I'm actually using, um, I'm stitching that with a, I believe it's Mo's sale. Don't hold me to it. It's a gorgeous silk. Um, it's looking a lot more like this. Um, it's dark, dark, dark purples and lighter purples. So, and I don't think I want to use up this whole um, whole hank, but you never know. Next, um, what I said that was number eleven. Okay, number twelve is another heart string samplery. His eyes on the sparrow. And this is a very large piece that I do not have a lot of progress on. Um, my goal on this one is forty hours as well. This is a 40 count picture this plus mellow. I'm gonna try to show you as best I can. That's that's my little bit of progress on it. So this is a kind of a pale yellow color. So um 
My goal in this one is 40 hours. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. <laughs> Big piece of fabric. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. I think this is a whole yard of fabric. Um, no, it's only a half yard, believe it or not. And I am doing that in the call for fancy floss. these envelopes. I hate them. I hate these. I'm, I'm not a fan of these. Um, what's next? Number 13 is the, the second of the three numbers that was called for January. And for me, that is the white pumpkin sampler by Dames of the Needle. I'm not doing the quote and I'm not doing the border. I'm just doing like the urn with all the pumpkins and stuff. Um, and I'm doing this in my own little DMC color conversion because I don't have one listed. Um, with the exception of the black that's in the urn. That was the fancy floss, but it was a different fancy floss than what they called for. This is my progress on it. Pull this in a little bit. This is my progress on it. Um, yes, I know it's off center for a reason. Um, so my goal on this one is to finish it. And it's just a lot of big, um, big areas of solid color. So I think I could probably pull pull it off. So I'm actually gonna leave that one out. I might work on that one today. If I get a chance to before work. Um, next, number 14 is the Error Famous um, Death by Cross Stitch by Log Dog Samplers. Long Dog Samplers. I swear, sometimes I try to talk so fast, and that's why I end up messing up the names of these things. I talk faster than I should for a southerner. Um, this is just on, it's a 32 count MCG linen in Oyster. And that's my progress on it. Um, I'm stitching this in the purple is 154, the blue is 37.50, and this red right here is 4.98. So, um, this one, was on my um, whip the board last year, but I didn't come anywhere close to what my initial goal on it was because I I feel like I was forcing myself to work on it. So my goal on this one is um, 500 stitches, which I think I can do that. So. Next project, number right. I'm sorry, I'm looking at okay. Number 15. Um this is the leaflet that I'm working out of right now. Um it's the Crabby All Year series by Raise the Roof Designs. stitching this on a 32 count ale um, Belfast by uh, uh, picture this plus sorry so that's what I've gotten so far my goal on this one is to finish out um, June right here uh, the stitching on it and then start and complete July so um, I'm just doing, I'm doing all the stitching right now, and then I'm going to go back and do, um, there are several blocks that have long stitches in them, and then every block has a few buttons. So, I'm just doing all the stitching right now, and then I'll go back later and, um, add the other stuff. 
hopefully by then I will have my scroll frame. is my other doctor. It's the 12th doctor. This is also by Lolita Maid on Etsy. I'm stitching this in the color 915. DMC 915. On Under the Sea Fabrics um, beach walk, uh, 32 count Lugana, um, beach walk. So that's where that one's at. My goal on this one is, um, 40 hours as well. Are you starting to see a theme here? It's easier for me to track time than it is for me to track stitches. Um, Number 17, sorry. Number 17 is a classic on this channel. Um, that's the Ann Barson Labro. And I've had this going for a couple of years now. Um, this is being done on a, uh, quite simply put, it's a solo die from Zweigart. It's a solo dyed Zweigart fabric. I think it was done by Silk Weavers. Not entirely sure. 36 count linen. Um, my goal on this one is to complete this top half, which includes um, finishing this border around the same as it is over here that comes down past, right beside this tree. Um, I call it a tree. Maybe it's a potted plant. Um, so it's to, to finish what's left over here, these motifs along the top, the border come down. So my goal on this one is to complete the top half. So. I think if I push myself, I can do it. And this is being done in the two over two in the called for fancy floss. Number 18, which is the third of the three numbers that was called for January, is the Heaven and a Wildflower by um, Rosewood Manor. I was stitching this for my mom. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in time to give it to her. Um, and I'm stitching this on a, what I have come to believe is a 32 count Carolina linen, tea dyed Carolina linen by Charles Craft. It's very thin and I cannot carry my threads like I normally would um, between these these little motifs right here. So it's making it very slow going. And this piece is nowhere near this big. Um, when I get ready to work on it, I might just go ahead and cut it down to the size that it needs to be. So that's my progress on it so far. My goal on this one, believe it or not, is to finish it. And it's not a big sample. It's, it, it could be done if I have the opportunity to get enough work done on it. Um, well, I'm sorry, if I have the opportunity to get enough time in on it. Um, number 19 is the Cloud Factory Don't Blink. This is just a black and white um, printout. I'm stitching this um, with Called For DMC on a 36 count Heroic by a picture that's plus. And that's the progress on it so far. Believe it or not, my um my goal in on this one is to finish it as well. 
because it's not big. Not big at all, especially on a 36 count. Number 20, I'm going to have to insert a picture of because I don't have a picture of it. Um, this is a, a design that I charted myself using a computer program that I no longer have access to, so I don't have the actual photo that I used. The photo that you just saw um, has been edited to, I have edited that original photo with his name and birth year and death year. Um, I think it was Chester Bennington, 1976 to 2017. Um, so this is my progress on that. This is just on a white 22 count Ada. And my goal on this one is 500 stitches. No, sorry, 1000 stitches. So. Um, if nothing else, I will, if I don't work on this at any other time, I will try to get those thousand stitches in, um, probably in July. And it would be fun. It, I think it'd be funny if number 20 is what's called for in July. Number 21. The downside of these particular envelopes is the zipper tends to get stuck. Okay. Um, there's another one I'm going to have to insert a picture of because I don't have the picture of it. Right? No, I don't. Um, this is the Historic Countries Sal that was featured in the Gift of Stitching digital magazine and there is a Facebook page devoted to it um if you want to do this out they can they have a link there in that Facebook page where you can get just those 12 issues that this was featured in um otherwise you can order the entire like six or seven year run um or you can get um just their December issues which I think is like 11 or 12 issues um, but this is where I am on this one. Not very far at all. Um, this is on a 40 count. Picture this plus. Legacy or Regency or something like that. I forget. Not entirely sure. Um, my goal on this one is to finish part one. Which is actually a lofty goal. number 22 um i feel like i don't need to show you guys what the um what this pattern is but i'll go ahead and show you it's the brooks books um advent animals it's free patterns um i'm going to show you number three which is what i need to work on what is floating around in here is there a ghost around me or something? Because I keep seeing something floating around. Um, but I will, ins I will insert a picture um, of the third one in the series. Um, which is what my goal is, is to do that third one. So this is the first two. Um, and this is just on a mystery light blue even weave that I obtained somewhere. Don't know. There was a time when I was debating on whether or not I wanted to actually finish the series. But I think I'm going to go ahead and commit to it. That was... Number 22. Number 23 is um, Spike Spiegel. 
Um, this is, I think this is from Etsy shop called Love for Cross Stitch, I think. Um, if I'm wrong, I will um, write it down below. I'm doing this for my son, and this is on a black, I feel like it's an 18 count Ada, or 16 count. I don't know. It's either 18 or 16 count. I can't remember. Right? No. This way. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at on that one. And this is the called for color, as you can see from the picture. So, um, and if you don't know who this character is, he is a character from an slightly older anime, animated program. And my son's a fan. Number 24. I'm not, I don't need to take this out of the plastic. This is, Win, uh, I call it Winchester. I have it in the W in order, alphabetical order. Um, but I think, the I think the actual pattern name is Family Business. Or the Family Business. Um, and this is by Fiddle6AU on Etsy. And I am doing this on a 32 count sterling by a picture of this plus, which has kind of a green, green tint to it. Oh, I forgot to mention my goal on Spike Spiegel was actually to finish it, which is not another lofty goal. Um, my goal on this one is to finish filling in this crust right here in all that gray. So, and this is just with the call for DMC. And last but not least is another project that I had on my 2020 Whipco board, but failed to get any progress on it at all. It's Princess Mermaids by Soda Stitch. And this is the mermaid that I'm working on right now. My goal is to finish her. Um, it's not a huge goal, but it is doable. But it might be a bit of a challenge if I don't get much stitching time. Um, and this is on a um, 28 count Opal Lugana, Opal Lugana in Caribbean Tides by Under the Sea Fabrics. So that's my progress on it so far. You can see it's sparkly. So, um, like I said, my goal on this one is to complete that mermaid, which ironically is the same goal I had last year. I didn't get any progress on it at all. So that is what's on my Whipco board. Um, let me rearrange a couple of things and I'll be back and I will show you what starts I have planned next year. Okay guys, so did I just say what starts I have planned next year? I meant this year. My brain is still in 2020. Catch up brain. Um, I'm gonna try to go through these kind of fast because I don't want this video to be 20 hours long like my like my whip parade was um I do have 12 planned starts for this year um I have a few restarts on standby if I should want to start something else my rule for this year is anything but a leaflet and what that means is all of my starts this year are going to be either I'm sorry a little bit closer again my starts this year are either going to be from a magazine from a book or like a digital pattern that is either is either free or that I've bought so anything other than a leaflet there is one exception and that is my birthday in March because I can start whatever I want in March it's my birthday I can do what I want so 
Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, I've already started January's because it's actually January 2nd today. Um, and I know I'm a couple days late on this. I've already started my January start and I've, I've put in a day on it. I've put in a few hours on it and that's all I'm going to do for right now. I'm not going to show you that here. That's not the point. Um, but I will show you what the pattern is that I'm with starting, that I started. That is the um, Hydrangea Autumn Fog by Chatelaine. And I'm just stitching that on a boring 32 count Lugana. Zweig art, if it matters. Um, so, yeah, I will show you that when I give you an update. Um, February is going to be a free design from that you can find from the Witchy Stitcher. It is a Welcome Campers. And while Jason is not really my thing, um, Andy kind of likes that old stuff, so I'm doing it for him. Um, and I'm just going to uh, stitch it on, um, it's a 28 count even weave, uh, by MCG text, by MCG. Um, and I think the technical color name of this is antique white, but it's more of the oatmeal-y, oatmeal -y color. So that's what I'm going to stitch that on. And it's just all in DMC. So that's going to be my February start. And it's my February start because Annie's birthday is at the end of February. All of my starts, um, except for a couple, January being one of them, March um, being the second one, all of my other starts are going to be on the 21st. March is the only exception to the rule. If I can get the stupid thing open. Um, and that is, I am stitching from a leaflet from a printed pattern. And that is Hannah Sanderson, 1849, from Dutch Treat Designs. I got this at Sassy Jack's when I was down there last year. Not last year, 2019. Right? No, we did go for my birthday last year. So, yeah. Um... I, this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually charted in DMC. And I am going to be starting it, um, they have two different colorways on this. They have this colorway, it's darker, this is actually the original sampler. And they have it charted in a colorway more like this. And then they have a colorway like this. Which was charted by Across the Chair magazine back when they featured it, um, I think it was 1998, but what they called the lighter colorway and the darker colorway. I'm going to be doing this colorway. There was a brief moment in time where I was actually considering doing the lighter colorway, but I like the darker one better. And I'm going to be stitching it on a 40 count. Um, I think this is Straw by Leaks Weeks Dye Works. I got this at Sassy Jacks when I was when I got the pattern. So, that is going to be my March start, and I can't wait. I got to get this off for it, though. April. Um, I don't really have a color photo of this. This is a freebie that I got um, with an order from Needlecraft Corner. Um, this is a pattern by a Stitcher's Hands. I'm just going to hold it back here. It's kind of a mandala-ish type of pattern. It's, it's small. And I'm going to show you, I'm about to show you how small. Oops. Yeah. Um, this, this small. <laughs> this is another piece of that MCG um, even weave, the antique white. So, um, I've only managed to kit up, is that one four colors actually? 
and I'm still missing a color. That being, I think 36.85 is the one I don't know. I have 36.85, 37.99. I still need to get, but it's only in these these colors plus 37.99. So um, it's gonna be pretty. Um, May is another kind of special month, but not a month where I'm starting a pattern leaflet. I'm starting a pattern, another pattern out of this book. I'm starting this guy right here, the Crescent Moon Dragon. Crescent Moon Dragon. And I'm leaving this in the book. Well, I'm gonna put the book up here for now. So I'm starting Crescent Moon Dragon and all the Call of War DMC and stuff. And I still need to get a couple colors of DMC and the beads and some Krennic. And I'm just stitching this on a glass blue, um, I think it's Monaco from Charles Croft. Um, 28 count. So, um, June is another little creamy pattern. This one is super cute. This one does have a color chart. It's a Hello Kitty cupcake. I mean, come on. Um, this is by. It looked like it was from originally from Deviant Art. I don't remember where I saw it at. Probably in one of the groups. But maybe you can go to deviantart.com and find it. And I'm just stitching it on this little piece of 18 count Ada from um, Lucas Fabrics by LJ. Um, and I think the color, this color name is actually Gamble. Pinks and purples and yellows and all that good stuff. And there's a lot of colors in this. You see this? There's a lot of colors in that little bitty design. So that's going to be fun. Oops. Just literally flew out of my hand. Um... The next one that I'm going to be starting in July sorry, is one of two designs that I'm starting out of this issue of World of Cross Stitch. I don't know what the, I never know what the, um, what the um, details of the magazine are, like what the number or what the month is or anything. I think this is 76. Um, because I don't really tell that well. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this, um, I want to say it's issue number 76. This is what the cover looks like. Um, and that Tatty Teddy is actually what I'm going to be stitching. Um, it's Reach for the Stars. And I'm just going to be stitching it on a plain white 16 count Ada. Plain white 16 count Ada. So. Um, nothing spectacular on that. Um, all the stars and stuff that's on it, that's actually Krennic. So, um, that is, that was July. August, um, I'm gonna have to insert a picture of somebody else's finish because there's not, um, a model stitch of it. There's not a photo of what it looks like stitched up 
from the original designer. Um, this is from a Facebook Facebook group, and I'll be darned if I can remember what the name of that group is because it's in another language. Um, but you should be seeing it down here at the bottom. Um, and technically, the name of this pattern is Klein Four, so nothing spectacular. Um, I'm going to be stitching it on the other piece that I had left over from my Play Crow. This is the 40 count um, Marid Maritime White or Mariner's White. So, and I'm going to be stitching it. Um, they're making it, they're, they're tatting it as a, a red sampler. And I was gonna originally stitch it, I was thinking of stitching it in something like 3371, but I thought, no, I'll stitch it in red. So I think I'm gonna be stitching it in 304, which is not a bright, bright red, but it's darker, a little bit dark on the darker side. Um, so that is my August start. Um, what is this? Oh, the September start is another pattern out of that magazine, and I have to go back and get it. While I'm showing you this, all those stars, that's all chronic. So, the other pattern that I'm going to be doing out of this magazine is on the other end of the magazine. That is the cat cushion. And I'm just going to be stitching this on a hand eye fabric. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to the original one. That's going to stay in the, in the pack until I get ready to start it, and then I'll print off a copy. Um, okay, so now we've seen cat cushion. I'm going to be stitching it in the Lugana version that I have, 32 count Lugana of the Iris fabric by Under the Sea Fabrics. So, see, it's not not that big, not that big. All of the fabrics that I'm showing you, I have already cut down to size, or they are cut to size already. Um, so then October, I had an idea to start like a Halloween thing in October. Sorry, a Halloween thing like the month before, give or take. Um, this is a free design that you can find. It is by Doreen Jones, I think. Yeah. It is by Zareen Jones. It's it is one long, um, one long piece. If I I think I have a picture of what it looks like, like stitched up long ways. If I do, I will insert that. And I'm just going to be stitching this in the called for DMC on. This literally is a mystery fabric. I don't know what kind of fabric this is. Um, I stitched home again on this fabric. And for the life of me, do not know what kind of fabric it is. It's a 28 count, I think. <sighs> or it's supposed to be a 28 count. But there are a ton of slubs in it. So, I'm going to be stitching it on that. Um, November, I'm going to be starting my Christmas, uh, Christmas stitch. I don't have a color copy of this. This is a free design, that I, another one that I received uh, through um, an order through New Craft Corner. Um, the designer, I think it's lav is Lavender Wings is the designer. And this is a 32 count Lugana in Lapis by Under the Sea Fabrics. This is another one that's, it's a lavender color, so you're not gonna be able to see it. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is what I'm stitching that why is it on. So this is probably the other other cut of that. So 
it's gonna be really hard to see that color, but it's a, it's that lavender color. Um, 32 count lapis even weave from Under the Sea Fabrics. Just stitching in DMC. And then finally, in December, I'm actually gonna be starting a Christmas stitch for December. Um, if I can find it. Um, page 43. That's what I like about just cross stitch. They give you pictures of all the designs in the magazine and the, on the back page, and it tells you what page it's on. I'm going to be stitching Lamb's Advent. Um, this is featured in the December 2015 issue of just cross stitch. Looks like that. So, I'm going to be stitching that. And I'm going to be stitching this on a, I think it's a 14 count Ada. It's similar. No, it's an 18 count Ada that's similar to this color right here. So, that's the color. It's going to be hard to see. But it's, it's similar in color, that green color, to what's on the um, model. So... That is what my new starts are going to be for next year. Um, I will give them all one day, except for um, May, because I will give that three days in May, my May start, um, which is the Crescent Moon Dragon, if you don't remember. I will give that three days, um, because... May for me in 2021 is going to be kit mania. And what I mean by kit mania is I'm going to pull out all of my kits. Um, and I think there's six, six or seven in all. Hold on. Let me, let me rearrange some things and I will come back and explain all that to you. So, um, May for me, I'm going to be working on, I have six different kits, um, that I am, that I already have on the go. And I thought May would be a perfect time to get some progress in on those. Um, what I'm going to do, I have six kits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to devote, I think it's five days. No, it's four days. I'm going to devote four days to each of them, um, one at a time. And the other three days of May are going to be spent on Crescent Moon Dragon. So, um, let me show you real quick what those kits are. And again, I'm not going to show these for very long because you did just see all of them in my whip parade. Um, I'm not entirely sure what order I'm going to work on these in, just whatever suits my fancy at the time. So, um, these are not going to be shown in any particular order. Um, the first one is the Dove of Peace. It's a design works kit. I'm stitching this on the included fabric with the included threads. This was another project that I was doing for my mom, whether or not I'm able to finish it in time to give it to her. Um, and that's my progress on it. And this is the this is an, a 14 count oatmeal later. So that's my progress on that so far. Um and for all my newer people, in case you're wondering why I'm saying whether or not I'll have time to give it to my mom or not, because she she has been displaying symptoms of dementia. And so therefore I don't know how much longer she has left. So she's she her mind is is getting worse and worse every like every month. 
So I'm hoping to finish these projects up, but whether or not I'll be able to finish them in time to give them to her to where she understands, it's it it's still it's, uh, still to be seen. I don't know, but I'm gonna try to do my best. The next one is a project that I recently started back towards the end of 2020. And that is um, Goldfinch and Lilacs. I don't know why they call it like singular Goldfinch when there's two on there. So Goldfinch and Lilacs. Um, just doing this on the kit fabric with kit threads and this is my progress on it not a big kit this is probably the smallest one that I have out of all of them so just a 14 count white Ada Have these in the same tote that I have my book go projects in. Next one is going to be stronger, another um, design works kit. I am not stitching this on the included fabric, but I am using the included threads. Um, and this is a 32 count linen. This one I actually have wrote down. Um, 32 Count Belfast in Zephyrus by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, don't have a huge start on it. Just that, that's all. And this is a deeper purple than those other ones that I was showing. But it's pretty. Can y'all tell I like purple? Um, next up, I'm not taking this out of the envelope because it'll just tear up. And that is, um, in the moment, the dimensions kit. And I'm doing this on the, um, included fabric, which is a 14 count beige Ada with the, um, included threads. So that's where I'm at right now on that. I apologize if you hear a whining dog. I'm in the back room and I have the door closed and he wants in. But we're almost done anyway. This next one desperately needs some progress on it because I have not touched it. Well, I've, I've only worked on it twice and I haven't gotten much progress on it either time. Being kitty litter. Mentions gold collection. And I've literally only got a few stitches in on this key right here. The, the um, orange one. Um, again, included, I think this is a uh, 18 count um, off-white Ada. Included a fabric, included threads. So yeah, that's not a lot of progress on that one. Just a little bit in his um, muzzle, and that's his paw right there. And I think that's in his ear. I don't know, something like that. So that's my progress on that one. And then last but not least, another Dimensions Gold Collection. The Southern Social. This is technically out of print, um, but they're not incredibly hard to find on eBay, which is where I got mine from. Um, as you can see, this is in the old, old packaging. I kind of wish I still did this though. And I'm just doing this on the included um, off-white Ada, 18 count off-white Ada. It came with a kit with the included kit threads 
and that's where it's at so far. This has a lot of like partial stitches in it, so that's why I haven't gotten a whole lot of progress on it. So that's where that's at right now. So, um, if I were to try to put a goal, like a, a numeric goal on these kits, it would probably be 500 stitches, maybe. We'll see um, how much I can get done in four days on each of them. Maybe not 500 stitches. Let's, let's go for 200. That seems like a good number. Um, but again, I'm not actually putting a numeric goal on it just to work on them for four days. To actually work on each one for four, four days. Um, and that's all I'm asking on those. I just need to get some progress on, on them. Um, so that's going to be my year. And, um, like I said, I'm keeping it, trying to keep it low key, um, with the new baby and everything. I don't want to try to ask too much of myself and just end up being completely, utterly disappointed in myself at the end of the year. Um, I am going to try to do a stitch from stash. Hopefully it won't be too hard since I don't really have a lot of money to spare this year. Um, with me only working part time. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to do the acrostics from the 24 hours of cross stitch. I don't know if I want to do those. I might try to take part in a 24 hours of cross stitch weekend here or there if I can. Um, but I'm not trying to set myself up for a lot of goals stitching wise. So just trying to keep it simple this year. So that's going to be it for me for this particular installment. And um, sorry it's late. Um, I did try to do this the other day on New Year's Eve, but I got interrupted. I was trying to do it when I was by myself when Amy, when Andy was at work. And I got interrupted by a hungry baby and um, never did have a chance to come back and finish the video. So I figured while he's here and he can watch her, then it would be a good time for me to just go ahead and redo this whole thing completely. So, but that's going to do it for me. Um, and, um, until I see you guys again in the next update, be good guys.